Showcase presents Green Lantern. Yellow beams from that monster's eyes, weakening me, making me powerless to resist. Featuring the creature that couldn't die. Green Lantern. I have blasted this monster with every weapon my power ring can devise, and it's beaten them all off. Driving to a nearby city with his pretty boss, Carol Ferris, Hal, Green Lantern, Jordan had his trip cut short by a road that ended in mid-air and by the appearance of a gigantic thing that was spawned on Earth and endowed with powers that rivaled those of Green Lantern himself. The creature that couldn't die. As test pilot Hal Jordan tries out a plane over the proving grounds of the Ferris Aircraft Company. This new bird handles fine. Now to check out the uh, a voice coming through in my earphones. A heart-stopping voice. Hal. Hal, this is Peril. I'd like you to drive me to Pine City this afternoon. What do you say? I... I'm speechless. Peril asking to spend all that time alone with me. What happened? She's been avoiding anything like this. Well... You want to know my answer, doll? Watch my smoke. Huh? Then, as the crack airman, Sky writes his reply. The silly... But soon after... It's your party, Carol. Mind telling me what it's all about? Well, to start with, our company is considering a merger with a plant in Pine City, and I have to go there to meet the owner. I figured I'd ask you to drive me as Especially since I had something else of importance to talk to you about. Now what's that, Carol? Well, I had a, a fantastic dream last night. And I made up my mind to tell you about it. But remember, Hal, it's just a dream. You see, in it I had agreed to marry you, but only in order to get Green Lantern jealous. Boy, what a dream. Tell me more. The dream seemed so real. There we were, about to get married. Still no sign of Green Lantern, but there's only... A few minutes left. Is it possible he won't show up? In the dream, I was sure that Green Lantern would appear at the last moment to sweep me off my feet and carry me away. You see? Uh Uh-huh. Go on. But when the fateful words were uttered... I now pronounce you man and wife. Green Lantern failed me. And as the strange dream continued, this is all a terrible mistake. I wanted to marry Green Lantern, but I've married Hal Jordan instead. Then suddenly, as we rode along, Hal, look, that painter falling from his scaffold. Great Scott, there's only one way to save him. Following instant, you slipped a ring on a right hand finger. Got to use my power ring without getting into uniform. Hal, that ring, it means, even as I gasped at the truth, you whipped through the air. Only my power ring can reach him in time now. Forming a fireman's net with my ring did the trick. So, I married Green Lantern after all. He and Hal Jordan are the same person. That's where the dream ended. 
this morning, vividly remembering my dream, it occurred to me that I had never seen you and Green Lantern together, Hal. I began to think, and that's why I asked you on this ride. Tell me, Hal, are you really Green Lantern? Now, Carol, you ought to know better than to put faith in a mere dream. Actually, before Hal can finish, the road comes to an abrupt end and the car plunges through space. W what's happened to the road? As the car plummets helplessly down the side of the mountain, only one way to save us, by using my power ring as Hal Jordan. There isn't enough time to switch to Green Lantern. Oh. Out of the power ring flashes an intense green bee, forming a parachute that attaches itself to the falling vehicle. How strangely this real life incident parallels Carol's dream. Then, as the car makes a soft landing. Whew, that was a close call. Landed with just a couple of bounces. Carol's all right, not hurt. She fainted the moment we started to fall. She never did see me use GL's power ring. I wonder what happened to that road up there. What could have wiped away part of it like that? As Hal's keen eyes sweep the terrain around him. Huh? What is that? A closer look reveals a gigantic footprint. Unlike anything I've ever seen before, Carol will be safe enough while Green Lantern finds out what's going on here. Good thing I made sure to charge my ring this morning. Editor's note. Green Lantern's power ring must be recharged every 24 hours. Soon, not far from the accident scene. Those men in that Jeep waving frantically at me. A Green Lantern, stop! We've got to talk to you! Moments later, as the men in the car pour out wild words to the green-clad champion. Look, we're scientists from the Dulong Experimental Station on top of the mountain. As something terrible has happened. Calm down. We've got to explain. Listen, Green Lantern, our work in the Dulong Station has been the investigation of the effects of cosmic rays on various types of matter. Up to yesterday, we had no important results. But then, this morning great stars. What's happening to the blob I placed in this test tube? Uh, a shape materializing inside. Within moments, the thing sprouted before my eyes until... Run! It's grown wild! We can't control it! I I've tried to shoot it! We could do nothing, Green Lantern. The thing grew to enormous size. We're trying to alarm the countryside. It may kill, destroy thousands of people. You keep going. Spread the warning. As for me, I'm going to find that creature and power ring blast it. Well, be careful, Green Lantern. It's a mass of concentrated cosmic rays and can be terribly destructive. Well, now that I know what tore a piece of that road a hundred feet up in the air and what made that enormous print in the ground, I can do something about it. Soon, as GL follows the track of the huge footprints. There it is, near the Coast City Bridge. I was expecting something big, but this is mind-staggering. Flipping up that bridge as if it were made of paper. I've got to stop it. Guided by Green Lantern's will, the power ring forms a gigantic blast which smashes at the creature. Incredible. It withstood the blast of my power ring. Suddenly, out of the eyes of the monster flashes an eerie light. Yellow beams from its eyes, stunning me. My ring is powerless against anything yellow. As GL staggers backward, the Colossus moves into the city. Str 
strides into a skyscraper. Look, and no one was inside that building. The people were warned and fled. Alerted by the gigantic threat, military forces rush to the scene. Our bullets and bombs have no effect on it. The monster simply absorbs them. As the Emerald Gladiator regains his senses and takes off after the menacing creature, one of the scientists warned me the monster was a mass of cosmic ray energy, which means it's invulnerable, even to my power ring. Grimly, the green champion follows the marauding beast. I have an idea. Maybe its very strong points are also its weakness. Maybe it feeds on cosmic rays to give it its incredible strength. Cosmic rays strike everywhere. Editors note, every inch of the Earth is bombarded every moment by the mysterious cosmic rays from outer space. So I know it's receiving the radiation right now. It's just possible that if I can cut it off from the rays, even for a few moments, it may weaken it. Bent on trying out his idea, the stalwart ring wielder hurdles at his fantastic foe. It came out of a test tube, so my ring shield against the cosmic rays will take the form of a huge test tube over it. A moment later, I must be on the right track. It has sensed what I'm doing. Whirled at me, but already the ring shield is affecting it because the yellow beams from its eyes are falling short. Can't reach me or the test tube. Inside the great green tube, the cosmic ray creature undergoes a strange transformation. It's shrinking in size as fast as it originally grew. The radiation in my green beam has put me in contact with the mind of the creature. Its thoughts are coming to me. Well, I'm grateful, Green Lantern, for what you're doing. Concentration of cosmic energy evolved me fantastically fast. I meant no harm. But in trying to control my actions, I clumsily cause destruction. Now, at last, thanks to you, I am no longer a menace to myself or world. Dead. It's become a lifeless blob. Later, as newsmen quiz the hero in green. So that's the way you sum up the affair, Green Lantern. Yes, the creature was born in a test tube, and it died in a test tube. And now that that's over, I've got another important matter to attend to right away. Soon after, test pilot Hal Jordan makes his appearance. Hal, what happened to you? I went to uh, get this doctor for you, Carol, but I see you've recovered. That evening, as Carol and Hal read a newspaper extra, Green Lantern destroys cosmic creature. Well, I guess this proves you're not Green Lantern, Hal. While you were wandering around in search of a doctor for me, Green Lantern was battling that creature. Oh well. And when Hal leaves... I guess dreams don't foretell the future after all. And that means I've still got my problem. How am I going to get Green Lantern to propose to me? He's full of courage for anything but that. The End If you have been thrilled by the adventures of Green Lantern in the past three issues of Showcase, and would like to see his adventures continued in a magazine exclusively his own, please write and tell him something.